Hi, my name is Chris Jacobs. I'm the creator of Vallejo Historic Home Support. And in this short little video series, we've been talking about the kinds of backup power systems you might want to have for, uh, for your house if PG&E was to take your power out, for example, uh, as they'll probably do every year moving forward. We've talked so far about a small little power station, you know, good for charging your cell phones. We've talked about small power inverters you can hook to your car and uh, really just good for charging power stations. We've talked about slightly larger power inverters. These can be hooked to deep cycle batteries, usually a battery pack. The last piece I want to talk about, and people will ask about solar, and I think that's a bit beyond this discussion for backup power. That's actually power for your house, right? But the last thing we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about generators. Now, I don't have an example here today because I actually loaned my generator out and somebody didn't bring it back. But I used to own the 1000 watt Honda EU generator. And the EU series is uh, it's remarkable. It's a remarkable series. It's got an ultra quiet, uh, it's, it's already ultra quiet, but it's got an even more quiet throttle down option you can do. And so uh, the smaller versions of these, and they're gonna be running somewhere in the neighborhood of about 800 bucks. You know, they go up all the way to the commercial size, but uh, for a house, Maybe uh, 2,500 watts is really, I mean, you could literally plug that into your power main and run your whole house. You get an electrician, they put a switch where you go flip over to generator power and you plug that thing in, turn it on, and it just runs your entire home. Just like, just like your refrigerator's going, your freezer's going, all your lights is going, all of your electronics is going, I mean, that's enough for your entire house. Something like that's going to run you right around the range of like $2,000. So... Um, when I first found these generators, this was maybe in 2001, I think, and I was walking up to a guy on a street corner in Los Angeles, and he was selling stuff on a table like this. And you know, we're on a street, it's not a busy, busy street, but I was like, I kind of looked around, I'm like, oh, where's your, where's your extension cord? He says, no, no, I've got a generator, and he pulls this up. I was standing two feet from the generator. I didn't hear the generator. That's how quiet it is. Uh, later, I lived in the woods, and I actually had one of these generators living in the woods. And yeah, if you're sitting right next to it in the woods where it's super quiet, you can hear it. But inside my cabin, 15 feet away, it just blended right in with the crickets. I mean, I didn't even, you didn't even know it was on. It was unbelievable. So the thing too that I want to say about these, uh, these power systems or the, with generators is that all of this stuff to some level goes together. I mean, when people, for example, live out in the country and they, they don't have uh, city power and they have solar systems, they actually own a generator. And the reason they do it is the solar batteries or the solar cells can't charge the battery quite as well as a generator can. And it's a really good idea, maybe once a week, to turn that generator on and deeply, deeply charge those batteries, right? Uh, there would be no reason, too, why you might also want to have something like this, you know, even if you own a generator, you might want something like this just for, for convenience or for ease. So, okay, uh, just as a quick review, uh, the EU generator series, totally awesome, totally quiet, probably the, absolutely the most expensive option here, but people will want to do it. It's gasoline generators, they run on oil, and, uh, you know, like a small little motor, like any other small uh, uh, engine that you have in your house. Uh, we Today, in this series, we covered a stand up, standby power, like a little backup power. We covered two different sizes of inverters, how they're wired, and we covered the uh, backup generators. One last word on generators. Much less expensive generators are available at stores. These are mostly construction style generators. These things are super, super loud. And you can check out the decibel ratings for, for any generator to tell you how obnoxiously loud they get. Okay, my name is Chris Jacobson. Thank you for joining this series. Please check out the links if you need more information. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions.